you're doing a lot of work in attribution, which is linking things that happen on the radio to things that happen on people's websites, okay, mm -hmm. particularly driving traffic. Um, now, in my experience, people in um, the UK and European markets tend to be quite nervous about attribution measurement because there's a perception that radio isn't very effective at short term response. Based on the work that you've been doing and that you're aware of and the data that you've seen, what can you tell us about how radio performs in this context? Yeah, uh, so <clears throat> it performs very, very well. And let's take one category that I think is near and dear to everyone's heart, and that's local car dealers. Um, the primary shopping tool, at least in our country, for the consumer that is in the market to buy a car is the website of the local car dealer, because they show all of the inventory, the actual cars they have, the prices. So when you're getting ready to make a purchase, this literally is showing you, here are the cars you can buy. Now, I know in the Europe and the UK, we have a different approach with automotive. I think in the UK or maybe in Europe, it's you order the car and then it gets made. <laughs> in the US, we make lots of cars and you can come and you buy what you want. But this is a very important category. And so there was a major study uh, done uh, by iHeartMedia and you can get this study, uh, you can download it for free off the Leeds RX website, L-E-A-D-S-R-X. And the study was conducted over a 16 month period in 100 markets of 300 car dealers representing 19 brands and 2 million radio ads. So this is probably the most comprehensive radio attribution study in the history of, of all of radio. And it showed a couple of key, very important key findings. One is there is a strong relationship between number of radio ads and search and site traffic. And there's basically a hockey stick, meaning in a market, if there's maybe 10 ads, you'll see about a 5% lift in traffic. If there's 20 ads, then it goes to 10%. And, and if there's in the market, you know, 40, 50 ads in a day, you could see a 30 or 40% increase in traffic to the website. So right away, you see a very quick impact. The other myth that it exploded is there was a myth in the automotive world of only buy ads at the end of the week because that's when shopping occurs. This study showed that advertisers, car dealers that are buying seven days a week see significant website traffic Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday. And so that, that was a very useful um, approach. The other, th I think the primary benefit of attribution is creative. The 50% of all sales effect is based on the creative. And think of attribution as a way to say, we've got four or five different ads running, which ad is doing the best job of driving search and site traffic. I don't get too excited about, oh, which day should we run and which time period should we run? Because there's a certain amount of chasing your tail on that. But I think the real value is in uh, creative effectiveness and being able to optimize and say, well, stop running this ad, let's run this ad. Um, the other thing it found is host red ads, personality endorsements, did twice as well as pre-recorded ads. Um, so nothing, first of all, so nothing to be scared of. And in fact, it absolutely proves that radio can deliver fast short-term results, but it also says that weight matters. You know, a light investment means light impact. And as you turn the knob up on spend, results get better and better and better. So I think if anything, it's gonna give confidence to advertisers and sellers that significant investments get significant results.